Hi all, thanks for tuning in. I'm just going to do a quick five minute review of this Seiko SBDC071. It's from the Prospects series. Um, it's lovingly called or been named the Marine Master 200 or the Baby Marine Master um, by Seiko fans. Seiko don't give them any name other than their um, numbers. Um, the numbers on the back of the watch are 6R1504J0. And this is the Paddy edition. So it's not technically a limited edition, but it's only sold for a certain amount of time. And when they're sold out, they're sold out. So it is quite rare and will become rarer. So let me just go through some of the features of this watch. So the styling of this watch, first of all, it's if you if you were to Google trying to find this watch, if you were to put in 1968 Seiko design, this watch is based on the 1968 divers watch that Seiko brought out, um, which has already been uh, reiterated earlier by the MM300, the SBDX001, which is this Marine Master 300. So you can see immediately the dials, you can see the design cues between both watches. Uh, you can see where a lot of the influence on this watch has come from from this one um so it's a 44 millimeter case it's 51 millimeters lug to lug it has a 20 millimeter um uh lug width for the strap which is great for um i'm just going to get rid of this it's really getting on my nerves that little bit of uh there we go, dust. <laughs> Sorry. Right, it has a 20 millimeter um, lug width, which is great for accessorizing it with other straps. Um, it is 13.1 millimeters thick. So, and you can see from the sides of the watch there, the design cue again for the shape of the case, uh, the Marine Master being a homage to their 1968 diver um, from earlier in the century. Um, around sort of mid mid noughties and um, this polishing a mixture of brushed and um, brushed and satin polishing is part of the Zarastu polishing techniques that Seiko use which I think is it comes from the Japanese heritage and um, really makes for a stunning looking watch in fairness so it has a dye shield coating on the case which hopefully will mean that it won't scratch quite so easily the bezel is a diving bezel, unidirectional, it'll only go one way, 120 clicks around. Um, this is a Pepsi bezel. The watch is also available with just black. Um, I really like this. You get the 10 minute timer. So let's say we wanted to time ourselves for 10 or 15 minutes. Sorry, 15 minutes. Around. If you put it to there, you now have your 15 minute warning for timing whatever you want. And of course, you can use it for timing your dive as well um, so it has a sapphire crystal which is great um, it's, it's not going to get scratched easily but of course when you do scratch it it's a lot more of an issue than if you had a mineral crystal the it's a it's an upgrade technically on the old marine master which has a hardlex crystal um, the difference between them and the idea of that is if you smack this one while you were diving or doing some other sort of exercise um, uh, adventurous training or something the crystal won't shatter in this watch. So kind of same idea as the Speedmaster Professional Omega having a min, uh, having a um, plastic crystal is that it won't smash if they smacked it on the side of the space shuttle. This one has a sapphire crystal. So for us, it's much more difficult to scratch it. But if you do give it a really good whack, it will shatter. Um, so uh, it has a screw down crown at four o'clock. This one doesn't have any markings on it as the old Marine Master 300 doesn't either, and I prefer that. So I should have told you this watch is from the Prospects series. So lots of the Prospects watches now have the cross on the crown, have the X on the dial, but this watch has managed to avoid that, and I think that's a bonus, to be honest. Um, but there we go. Great to have the crown at four o'clock. For me, it doesn't end up digging into my wrist, um, and it's easier to use it with the watch on your wrist. So I like that. Um, so let's just talk a little bit about the dial. It's matte black. You can see that the dial is based very heavily on the Marine Master 300 um, of the mid noughties. Um, the hands are different. It's got a different handset. This handset is in line with some of the tuners that you can find in the Prospects range, the Marine Master tuners with this big arrow, our hand. And to be honest with you, I think it's even more easy to read than the old Marine Master. Um, so uh, it has Loombrite, which I'm gonna show you in just a minute. Um, and um, it's very easy to read. Um, case back, 
really nice case back. It's got this um, tsunami uh, wave emblem on the back, and this is where we find our prospects X. Um, I should say this case is stainless steel, and it comes. This version comes on a rubber strap, which is a vast improvement on previous Seiko rubber straps. Um, the rubber strap that comes with this watch is incredibly hard. You have to almost warm it up with some hot water to, to be able to shape it to your wrist. This one's very soft and supple, incredibly comfortable, um, and has a really nice signed buckle. And uh, of course, you can see the um, keeper as well for the for the um, spare bit of strap that's going to stick out there. Um, so I just want to talk to you very quickly about the movements. This movement has this watch, sorry, has a six R fifteen movement. I don't expect that to mean anything to you, but these most of these pros, uh, prospects watches and the Paddy editions as well either have a six R movement or a four R movement. The six R movement commands a premium. You'll see that the watches are almost double the price. This watch retails on the rubber strap at um, eight hundred and thirty pounds. With the bracelet, we're up to nearly a thousand. Um, the four R watches like the um, turtle um, and the maybe the baby um, tuna they tend to be about half that many around 450 500 and the reason is that the movement in this watch is superior so as usual seco don't claim to have regulated it to any great extent uh, they say it's going to be 20 plus 25 to minus 15 seconds a day but it could easily be regulated to be far better than that the reason the biggest difference i can find between the movements um is that this watch has a, a longer power reserve at 50 hours and it has something called a Spron 510 mainspring which is a Seiko designed and built mainspring which is of superior material with better elastic um, characteristics for doing its job in the watch. Um, the 6R sits above the 4R, but it still sits below the 8L movement, which is a Grand Seiko movement, which is in this watch. Um, but to be completely honest with you at the moment, this watch is keeping far better time than this one. So go figure. Um, I'll just try and show you the loom and then I think we're done. So the loom bright in both these watches is great. Um, the Marine Master 200 has this lovely blue and green which I think probably makes it even easier to read in the dark than to find the minutes when you're looking at it at a glance, as opposed to the usual green. Um, and uh, the only thing left for me to say really is that on the wrist, this watch doesn't wear like it's 44 millimeters at all. I find it a very easy wear, to be honest. It sits nicely on the wrist. I've got a seven and a half inch wrist. So it sits really nicely on the wrist. Um, it's comfortable um, and uh, to be honest with you, I think is a very stylish watch, one of Seiko's best at the moment. So there it is, the SBDC071 MM200 or Baby Marine Master. Thanks for watching.